Hey guys, how y'all doing today? We have um, 2014 Toyota Tundra. It's a 5.7 V8. Um, customers said they have um, the squealing noise. Let's let's check it out real quick. Um, we'll see what would be the problem. Let's start the car so y'all can hear it. I don't know if you guys can hear that. It's a squealing noise. Sounds like from the belt or Let's get it. This is gonna sounds like from the belt or um, a bearing or pulley. We're going to diagnose it and see if we can replace the pulley or the belt and go. Okay, let's bring this truck in and um, let's see what um, we can find. Okay, once we got it secured, um, let's look underneath. So that's my culprit. It's the um, belt tensioner. And we have to check all the bearing, um, the pulley. Let's check the belt too. And then we have to, um, Remove that and let's check if it's, <coughs> it's squealing. Change the belt tension. Let's get it. Okay, so that's the um, the belt tension there. What we have here is um, 14 millimeter socket. So, Right here, and um, we have to pull it down. Um, lose the tension, which is that bolt there is not the same as other bolt heads that normally you go clockwise to tighten it, and this one go kind of clockwise to tighten it and to lose it. So let's put it there. I know I have a small one, small ratchet, but what I have is a pipe to use it as an extension. Make sure you have good leverage. We're going to lose it. And then, let me see, I'll find you a good angle. Um, you can see these right here. See if we can zoom it better. Right there. Once this little piece past that, we have to put this Allen wrench to hold it. Then we can lose the. We can remove the the belt. So we have to remove that. Okay. Okay, it's in. See how we lose that? 
I'm gonna insert this Allen wrench so it will not move. Right there. That's it. See where I put it? It better not be snapping. But, then we can remove the belt, slowly slide it out. What I'm going to do is leave it in the same, we're not going to totally remove the belt, so I can just check the pulley for the tensioner, how does it spin. And then we're going to release the tension, and one more time. What you can do is take a picture so you remember how this belt goes back. But it feels like it's pretty simple. Let me see. That. We gotta remove that Allen wrench. And then, hold on. Make sure it won't snap on you. Still got pretty good tension there. There you go. So that's loose. I'm just gonna remove my ratchet and socket. There you go. I'm gonna pull the belt down so it's not really moving the direction of it. There's a little, no play, but you can hear it. So we can remove that and we can compare it. Either way, I think my customer has a the, the, the bearing for that one. Let's see. Let's see if you can hear it. Then move it closer. I don't think it's that bad. Either way, we're gonna replace the belt. This is squealing. So that's one of the, the pulley of it. We can check on top. More likely, it's the belt too. And um, let's remove the belt so we can check every single window. So that's your. This is your alternator right here. This is camshaft pulley. We got camshaft pulley up there. And we have um, this top left is like your. It doesn't sound bad either. That's your power steering pump. Let me see on the right side. So you can check it too. I believe I might be able to go to the top on this right side. That's another, what is that, a pulley? Yeah, another pulley up there. We'll check that. This is, that's, this one is your AC compressor. We can check that. All right. I'm going to remove the, the belt now. It should be pretty easy. Just pull it out. Make sure you know how to put it back. Seems pretty straightforward in a way. Okay, let's move that and I'll show you what it looks like. Okay, so here's our brand new. So we actually have the whole piece, the brand new belt tensioner. You can't really hear nothing. 
we're gonna remove the, the old one and compare it. You can actually just place this piece here. It's just a pulley, and this bolt goes. If you want to replace just this piece, uh, this bolt will be the missing the back. See, but to remove it, it will be clockwise to lose it, to loosen it. Then replace that pulley. But my customer wanted the whole tension there, and that's the part number deco and let's go ahead remove the pulley I mean the um the tensioner um the whole belt tensioner okay the bolt for that is not this one in the bottom that's the one on top right here and that is size 12 as you can see size 12 socket and then I'm using um, the deep the deep socket. Once you remove that, it's gonna go in counterclockwise. Once you remove that, it should come out. Pretty easy. I'm gonna use my pipe again to make it easy for myself. That's pretty loose. now let's see if we can remove it by hand that's going pretty good if you maintain your truck your car everything should be coming out easy because there's no rust or anything there you go that's out and that one we can really wiggle it out pretty easy you might need to tap it. Let me see. Let me get a um, and then the one in the middle right here. And um, I believe that will be um an Allen. Let's see what size we have. Size seven. I'm not sure if that's the right size. It's an Allen wrench. Might be six. So I get six. Okay. So we have a size six here. Okay, that's yeah, fits perfect. I'll show you size right here, size six. So let's make sure you put it all the way in. Make sure you put it all the way in. You don't want it. You want it to go so you can strip that. There you go. We can do the same thing. I'm going counter clockwise. I'm going to use my pipe again. There you go. It's crack loose. See how that that seems already. Every time you remove some parts, do not rush it. Take your time. It'll come out. There you go. It's slowly coming out. Okay, that's out. 
see how that came out pretty easy. There we go. Let's pull it. And then let's pull it out. Okay, so we have the side by side now. Um, let's compare it real quick. As you can see, this one, this is oriented like about like that if you're facing front. Right now, you might think they're in different location because this has a pin. So once you put it back, what you're gonna do, you put the belt here, then lose the tension here, counterclockwise, and you remove the pin. Then it will stretch it back. Let's, let's hear the comparison of these two. You hear that? Very little, but it could it could make that that noise. And this one. You hear it is very smooth. And let's check the brand, the old one. Just a little play in there. Not play, but this um we're out in there. So what we're gonna do, let's let's put this back. We are gonna use the uh, same bolt it goes here and then does the same bolt go down here. Let's go inspect it real quick. As you can see, that's the actually the OEM is Deco. So the same part, the OEM used Deco brand. There you go. Take off. All right. Let's, let's put it together. That's gonna go up. Back here. Okay. Now to put the um the brand new belt tension there. It's just the opposite way. Put it up. Um. What I started. I just put the bolt. The mid. The center bolt. The Allen bolt in there so you'll see a line to the back there you go and let me go clockwise let me get the number six again Number six Allen, put it back. There you go. I can put that. And at the same time, I'll put the one in the bottom. This number 12 bolt. started by hand until they get tight there you go and then get the allen so that one is still loose you can actually lose the go by hand too somewhere in the bottom you should start the one in the middle tight the one in the middle it's like the, how you, you did it backwards. I mean, in the beginning, we're just doing it backwards. So let's start the middle first. Then, you know, ratchet. Right now, I'm just tying it by hand. My hand as well, the one the socket one. Okay. Oh, 
Okay, now let's see if we can get the, the parts back for those. I'm not sure if we can find it here. But we should be able to. I believe there's a 2016. Let's see. Let's see if we can see it. Let's see a vehicle. I don't have a 2016, but we can do that. 2015. Let's go Toyota. Tundra. What is this? Limited Platinum SRS? Let me see. That's a 5.7 V8. Let's go check it. We need to make sure. Yeah, I'm saying. You just say. Tundra. I can't even see it. This is white. Let's see if I can see it. I'm gonna ladder. Can't really see it. Okay. Do not do this at home. Uh, this is not safe. You just need something to step on. And this one says... No, it's actually 2014. Right there. So, this is gonna go to 2014. Let's go back. 2014 Tundra. Make sure you get the right gear model so we get the right torque spec like that. So we're gonna go back and look at 2014. I uh, hope they have it here. I'll go to Tundra nah, SR5. Let's just SR5. Let's go repair. Let's check tension there. Tension there. Let's go to accessories and equipment. No. Let's go to engine. Cooling system. Cooling fan, engine and performance. Oh, let me see. Oh. Let's go to belt. Maybe belt. Belt tensioner, here you go. Engine performance. Engine. Let's go. Alright, find something here. Let's see if we can bite, find the belt. It's right here. I'm going to look for hmm, belt. Timing, no. Timing chain, no. Components cleaning, inspection procedure, identification. Hmm. I could actually check it on our data. I don't even know which one's faster. Actually, you can Google it if you want to. Just Google it. But I just want to look it from here. Let's say 2014 Toyota Mazda truck. I don't have a Toyota here. Look at that. Okay, I don't have it. So we gotta go to our friendly Google. Let's go 2014 Tundra Belt Tensioner. You ready? Tensioner Torque. work spec there you go what do we have right here normally I go to the images and then when you have these images um, see that they do have some belt here that's a timing belt 
So we go into Adler Pulley. That's the Adler Pulley. See that? No. That's a timing belt. Let's go to right here now. What is this? Let's check what we have. There you go. Mm. Let's go. There you go. Torque spec. Let's go back to all. I think it's 5.7. There you go. We'll go to forum. There you go. 5.7. They're all the same. Um, two bolt. 17 foot pounds. See that? Two bolts like it. It says here 17 foot pounds. That's what it says. <laughs> That's what the Google says, so we're gonna find some more. Torque spec. There you go, there you go. This this one is much better. 2014, but this is 4.6. That's okay. Torque spec. Let's go. No, didn't say much. Let's see the torque spec. There you go. Mm -hmm. Let's find a torque somewhere here. Yeah, I got one here. It says 17 foot, foot pounds. Let me check this one. He has um. There you go. Look at that. Belt tensioner. Accessory belt tensioner. But that's 2008. That's a 2008 belt tensioner. So we gotta check. Accessory. TSP, estimator, go back. Tension air. Hmm. Oh yeah, one sec. Okay, we found something here. So this one, um, we write on the um, from 2014 to 21, 5.7 torque spec. Tundra. Uh, we go all the way down here. Right here it says the. Uh, belt tensioner torque spec is 17 foot pounds so that's the right one and this one is the 32 foot pound that's when if you replacing the replacing the um the center bolt for the actual pulley that's 32 foot pounds and these two right here are 17 foot pounds okay now let's go let's go find what we have I could find the, uh, yeah, I'm just gonna use this small one we have. Right. Not the smallest one. Let's see. Let's go. Let's go. So these, let's see if we can find. Let's go. Put this on the tripod. So, what do we have here is, let's see, that's the foot pounds. I'm just gonna go with 10, that's 15 plus two, that's 17 foot pounds. Okay, let's, let's go talk them together. Okay, this one, we're gonna start with these. Do not do that. <laughs> The six Allen. Let's go talk that middle first. 17, the rest of the 17 foot pounds. Let's see if you have room. It's pretty long. There you go. Why am I copying? all the way in and then 
Okay. Don't torque it. Uh oh, my belt is coming out. That's okay. Don't move the belt. Okay. Once you hear it, once you heard it, that's good. That's 17 pounds. There you go. You heard it. Got three confirmation there. Then let's go get the, um, the socket, which is the 12 millimeter socket. Um, the same foot pounds. So at the bottom, you can see it right there. Got one one right there. Once you heard it click, or you can feel it too. I heard. I think I heard it. I heard it. Try one more time. Sit. Heard it click. There. That's good. And then, all right, now we have that. We're going to go back to replace this belt. Make sure we look how the orient orientation goes. I mean, I think I can pretty much, rem I can follow how it goes so I can remove this one at a time over right here and then we will look around up there and go on top let me remove it and I'll okay. show you so I can remove this belt from the AC compressor and that's gonna go up there And then I can pull it from this um, left side here and that should come out from here and then you'll see it from the top top side over there and it goes to the camshaft fully gone top a little tight there, but that's it, that's out. And go from, from the left side, you go look around the, um, the power steering pump and your alternator. Okay, that is out. Okay, so that's the belt. What we can do, we have a new belt here. Let's um, unwind it. First thing I'll do is check it. Oops, this is the new one. Let's check the belt. How is it looking? It's not too bad. Let's get a couple of cracks here and there. Just a few cracks. It's about time to change anyway. So I have to um, measure them if they're about the same size. For me, the fastest way is to let me show you. Let's put it in. This is your old one, this is the new one. I will just fold it here just like that. And then run through it. It's about the same. It's about good. As you can see the old one. It's a couple of cracks already. I don't know if you can see it right here. You have a couple of cracks. I'll show you. There you go. That's a bad crack right there. So it's so about the same time to replace them. Okay. Let's install it. Okay. Putting it back, it's about the same. You think it's hard because 
this bar here is in the way. But when I, what I would do, I get this one side. Go past your belt. I mean the belt. Go past the fan, the auxiliary fan, right there. You gotta go above it. Once you go above it, the the other end loop. Let's see if I can. I, you know, if I can, you can do it too. Okay, it's not much room here to to show in the camera, but I'll do my best. So once you pass it, you go to the right end, right side. It's where the um right here. See that right here? That's your AC compressor. Go ahead, loop it there. So that's how it started. Let me see. Let me show you. Right there. There you go. I'll loop it that first. The belt has ridges, so make sure you got it in the ridge. Pretty good. I mean, align. Okay, we can start there without pulling it, pulling the pressure. And then, once you have it there, there's another pulley on top, right? Above that belt, right there. You can do it from the top, but I think I can manage it from the bottom. The, the bottom side, these will go to that, right here. So, let's pull it there. It's pretty tight, but it's doable. What you could do is move it there. Then the top side with the ridge, you go to the pulley on top. Let's see if I can use my right hand without blocking your left hand. Or you could use a little power bar so you will look around that little pulley up there. Ah, you can see it. It's right top of the pulley. There you go. Just be careful you don't. Anyway, once it's just aligned there. Let me see what I can show you. Okay, there you go. See that? Let's see. Okay, there you go. See, that's the AC compressor. And then it goes the ridge on top of that pulley there. I think that's just a pulley. And then the, and then the, the other end goes on top of these. Then, you're gonna go like right on the middle side, right here. See that? Then this will go down in the crankshaft. Fully. What I said, make sure the one in the middle, the the fan, is still aligned up there. And this one is the crankshaft. Well, that's pretty good. And we're still gonna align the one AC. Well, let's make sure that's good because we can stop pulling that later. And then now we're gonna go to the cab shaft pulley. That one has ridges again. The top side, go on the very top of that. Can you see it? Let me see. You got better view. There you go. Right there. That we go to the top side of that, and of course, this put a belt goes behind this horse. So, let's see. There you go. Can you guys see it? Five 
I was just gonna make sure you don't cut it. I'm just using it to align it to the top of that camshaft pulley. So once it's aligned, you push it on top. There you go. There you go. Can you see it? Put it on top. Let me just fix my, my hat. <laughs> okay. That's in there. Right on top of that catch up fully. There you go. Later on. And then make sure you go back and check if it's come out. Like mine, it came out on the other side. Just a pulley, the small pulley on top, it came out. So make sure you go back. Make sure that it goes on top of it. You see, mine came out. Pull it up. There you go. It's back on top. Got a tiny one there. Pull it up. And then it goes to the cap shaft. Then it goes back. The top goes to the. It's gonna be tough to see. Okay, we got a room here. And that goes to the alternator. Right there. I'm trying to see it from here. There you go. Right there. Now it goes behind the alternator. I'll show you. The same one, the same loop. Top side will go to the alternator. I don't know if you can see my hand, the purple gloves. Just gonna go around that. If you don't remember it, make sure you take a picture before you remove the old one. And now, come back. At the same time, see that? At the same time, you can go back again and check the one previous you put it up so you have it it didn't come out again mine came out just a bit now it's aligned and if you look at the other side that small pulley are still there and the camshaft pulley are still aligned now I got it in my alternator side I mean I'm sorry that was not the alternator that was the power steering pump by the way then we're gonna go to the alternator the one on the bottom still go down here right now here there you go and then now this is gonna loop up to your tension there there you go let me see i'm gonna show you a better look right there that's your alternator down here you go at the ridge the ridges then go on top of your belt tensioner There you go. It's going. In. There you go. All right. Now they're back. Let me show you how it's. It's not bad, right? Taking like ten minutes with this camera here. But let me show you if I can see if I can show you. So that's the um, crankshaft pulley. It goes first up to that fan pulley in the middle and then goes back down to your um, AC compressor and make sure it's aligned that one is pretty good Let's see and then go up there to the, another pulley with the ridge and it goes from above your camshaft pulley 
and then it goes to right there on the top. There you go. Oh, it's kind of out. See that? You gotta make sure. You can see that belt is a little bit out of my power steering. Okay, right there on top. I'm gonna show you how to. Um, you can use your hand or just use your. Use your see right there. That is out. Make sure it's back on the rigid line. There you go. You have to make sure everything is aligned right. There you go. See on the easy power steering pump and alternator looking good. And then it's in your pull um, drive belt tensioner right there. Looking good, looking good. And normally you will find it, um, make sure it's aligned on the old belt. Right. I believe that's good. What we're gonna do is double check, make sure it's straight. See how I'm doing here? I'm pushing it a little bit back for this, um, line mark here you will see it triple check things are good okay that's good everything is good now we have to lift the tension off okay so now we have to remove these tension so we're gonna get our 14 millimeter. We're gonna go back here in the center of your belt tensioner pulley. And use the S14. Okay, the new one is not a 14. So the new one might be 15. You got a beer bolt. That's a 15. So the only difference with that might be good because it's a bigger bolt. So we're gonna lose the tension and tension is back. To remove the pin right there. We're gonna use the same process that what we did. There you go. Corner clockwise. And if you can still see it just a little bit. Let's see. There you go. And the pin is coming up. And slowly, slowly. And that's it. Once it's back on, we want to make sure everything's aligned again. Not too far from the belt. From the, um, not too far from the. I'm trying to see on the right side. I'm trying to feel it. Okay, I might need to adjust it just a little bit. It's hitting the back of the, um, I can touch it, so, so this is what I'm trying to look at, see that worn marks here, I'm trying to follow the same gap, so I'm putting my finger back here, you can feel where the belt ends, I feel like it's too close from the, from the edge. So I'm just going to use that rope just a little bit, same process, and then pull that belt, let me see, I can pull that belt just a tad bit in, outside, just a little bit, there you go, there you go. 
That's pretty good. Let me show them that. That's pretty good. Okay. Now that's looking good. That's looking good. Make sure you double check, triple check everything. Make sure it's in the line. Bridge is not overlapping the region belt. Both left and right side, all your components, and you won't have any problem. So. All right. That's, that's, that's good enough, right? And what we're going to do is just, what is this? This is red belt components. Look at this. Oh, look at these red belt components. It's from the top. I can probably just start it again. Okay, now let's try if it's still we still hear any any noise. Let's confirm it. No squealing, very quiet, no squealing, let's try to rev it up, if you hear anything, you always double check your work, just rev it up, sometimes when you rev up, you hear something else, yeah. mm. Oh yeah, I like that. Okay, that's pretty good. That's quiet. All right. That looking good. The job is done. 